Good evening, Rafael. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I, I was sad because nobody in the room, right? But <laughs> nobody um, in the room. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You it, went to the barber shop. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it raining in your house? A little. Oh, A yeah. little. Yeah. Also in my house, is, is it raining, right? So all these days, you know, in yes. the same situation. Yes. yes. All the week. All the week, yes. Right. Hey, Yolanda, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. So now we're going to start with the class. Let me see. Um, I want to do something here. Yes. Okay. Here we have the platform. We're going to uh, work with the last class today, right? Uh, right. In this class, you will learn how to use clauses with when and if, right? When, if, or expectation. What is expectation? Is something you expect to happen, for example, right? If, if you go out to the rain in this moment, what is the expectation? The expectation is that you get wet, right? So right. maybe if someone invites you to eat pupusas, ah, what is the expectation, right? That you eat curtido and, and salsa, right? Tomato sauce. <laughs> you get fat. It's expectation, <laughs> right? What, what is normal, you know? Uh, and especially in culture, well, there are many things that are different in culture, right? From country to country, so we're going to see that, right? And uh, this is the video, right? But before to go to the video, I will. We're going to practice a conversation. Welcome, Irvin. Welcome, Sofia. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi, hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. There we go. This is a conversation. One second, I'm going to share this. Okay, that's it, right? So listen to the conversation, please. Page 33, exercise seven, conversation. Bring a small gift, part A. Listen and practice. My boss invited my wife and me to dinner at his house. Oh, how nice. Yes, but what do you do here when you're invited to someone's house? Well, here in the U.S., it's the custom to bring a small gift. Like what? Oh, maybe some flowers or chocolates. And is it all right to bring our kids along? Well, if you want to bring them, you're expected to ask if it's okay first. Okay. Now, listen and repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. My boss invited me, sorry. My boss invited my wife and me. My boss invited my wife and me. Okay. Uh, we're going to turn off the, the, the microphone, right? So, okay, thank you, thank you. Again, my boss invited my wife and me. to dinner at his house. Oh, oh, how nice. Yes, but what do you do here when you're invited to someone's house? Well, here in the US, is the custom to bring a small gift. Like what? Oh, 
maybe some flowers or chocolates. And is it all right to bring our kids along? Well, if you want to bring them, you're expected to ask if it is okay first. Okay, now listen for the last time again. Page 33, exercise seven, conversation. Bring a small gift, part A, listen and practice. My boss invited my wife and me to dinner at his house. Oh, how nice. Yes, but what do you do here when you're invited to someone's house? Well, here in the US, it's the custom to bring a small gift. Like what? Oh, maybe some flowers or chocolates. And is it all right to bring our kids along? Well, if you want to bring them, you're expected to ask if it's okay first. Good. Any question about, uh, about vocabulary? Sorry. No question. No, no questions. No, for the moment. Okay, good. So when you say uh, to bring your kids along is to bring the kids with you, right? With you. Okay, very good. Now, uh, let me see. I need some of you help me with the conversation. So Rafael, Rafael, you're close. And Sofia, you're Olivia, right? You can turn on your microphone, of course. Okay. The microphone. Let me start. Okay, Rafa, you begin. Okay. My boss invited my wife and me to dinner at his house. Oh, how nice. Yes, but what do you do here when you're invited to someone's house? Well, here in the U.S., it's the custom to bring a small gift. Like what? Oh, maybe some flowers or chocolates. And is it all right to bring our kids along? Well, if you want to bring them, you're expected to ask if it's okay first. Okay, thank you very much. Now, a second couple, please. Uh, Irving, you're close, right? And Yolanda, help me, please. You're going to be Olivia. Turn okay. on your microphone, please. All right. My boss invited my wife and me to dinner at his house. Oh, how nice. Yes, but what do you do here when you're invited to someone's house? Well, here in the U.S., it's the custom to bring a small gift. Like what? Uh, maybe some flowers or chocolates. And it is all right to bring our kids along? Well, if you want to bring them, you are expected to ask if it's okay first. Okie dokie, congratulations. That's nice, right? Okay, good. So uh, now we're going to go to the platform. We're going to go to the platform. Hey, hello, Francisco. Hello, Noemi. Welcome, Mauricio, too. Hey. Hello. Good to see you in the last class, right? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be your teacher the next level, but if not, right, it was a pleasure to be your teacher this level. After teacher Caleb uh, be, began with the with the with the uh, group, right? So, but I continue with the group, so I'm happy with you. I am happy. Yes, good. Now, um, and okay, uh, Noemi saying hello to everybody, right? Hello. <laughs> okay. Now, 
we're going to go to the platform and we're going to see the video to introduce the, the topic, right? So the topic is expectations, right? And we use when and if. These are some clauses we use when you use expectation. Now, let's watch the video, please. Hi, everyone. At the end of this class, you'll be able to express expectations, particularly cultural expectations. For example, you'll learn how to answer the following question. What are you supposed to do when you go out on a first date? Now, the answer to that question could be, well, in the U.S., when you go out on a first date, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. And just like the image that you see at this time, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in the U.S.? What are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in, uh, let's say, Japan? And the answer to that question is much different. So that's what we're going to learn in this particular class, how to structure those ideas together. Let me quickly present the structure that we're going to follow at this time. What you're going to see is that we're going to express the expectations. We're going to have some sort of situation. Um, and then uh, we're going to express the expectation with you're supposed to or it's accustomed to either you're supposed to or you're not supposed to. Uh, so let's look at the examples at this time. When you visit someone, it's the custom to bring a small gift. Of course, this depends on the situation. You aren't supposed to arrive early. And again, this varies among different cultures. If you want to bring someone, you're expected to call first and ask. You're supposed to check with the host it's not acceptable to arrive without calling the first. So let's try to understand this particular idea. I'm just going to write the structure and I'm also going to uh, borrow one of his examples that we see there. Um, let me just make this a little bigger. One second here. So what I want to do at this point is just um, point out um, the following, that um, the structure, the way that it works is either we're going to use it a when or an if clause. What do I mean by a when clause? Well, it's this situation that I mentioned here at the beginning. When you visit someone, right? If you want to bring someone, that's what I refer to when I say a when or an if clause. That's what it should be here at the beginning. After that, you should include a subject. Uh, in this case, uh, the subject is you. Right? So the, the expectation is when you visit someone, then it's going to follow the verb to be. And the verb to be can be either positive or it can be negative. In this case, it happens to be that it's, um, it's negative form. So when you visit someone, you aren't. And then this is going to follow supposed to. You aren't supposed to. And then it's going to follow the verb. So in this case, the verb is arrive. You aren't supposed to arrive early. And then finally, it should follow the complement. Let me give an example with another clause. So in this case, I'll use an if clause. So I'm going to say if the service in a restaurant. Good. Okay, that's the if clause. Okay. Then this I mentioned is going to follow the subject. You're supposed to. Okay. And then that's going to follow the verb. So you're supposed to. That's it. And then there's going to be some sort of problem. Under this green, just so you can see that. This is the when or the if clause. So in this case, it's the, it's the if clause that I'm using. So let me just quickly point that out. Um, after that, it follows the, it follows the, the subject and the verb. Uh, in this case, the verb to be. I mentioned that the, the subject and the verb to be can either be uh, positive or it can be uh, plural. So in that particular case, what you see there is that um, it's an Right. So that's, that's 
the subject and the construction of that. Okay, and then we use supposed to. Okay. And color that appropriate color one that I chose. Uh, and then it follows the whatever complement that uh, you want to. So uh, this is uh, my opinion and the opinion of many people. If the service in a restaurant is good, you're supposed to be limited. Uh, again, this varies among different cultures, and in some cultures, it's not accustomed to whatsoever. Let me go ahead and uh, give another example here. Say is go out. Friends. Yeah. Uh, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the subject a little bit. I'm going to say it's instead of supposed to, I will say it's acceptable. To, so, there are other examples that you see here. Um, we can use oh, it's the custom. Acceptable or it's not acceptable, I mean, it's possibly negative. You can expect it to this is something that I did not do. If we follow that expression and then it follows the verb, but all, all of them, um, we should be able to form simply by following this structure. That I did. So, what I would like to do now is I would like to think about lots of cultural aspects from your country. For example, okay, class, that's enough, right? Now, uh, I'm going to give you a, a brief explanation, right? Um, Besides the explanation you have in the video, right? Okay, um, here we have two closer, right? And uh, this is the close using when. And this is the clause is using if. Okay, what is a clause, right? It's not Santa Claus, right? Oh, 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 no, no. I mean, a clause is like, how can I say, a sentence, right? A small sentence that is attaching or is together with other sentence, right? And this sentence or this clause, right, has its independent subject and its independent verb. Right? So you can notice here that uh, you have this, right? And then in the other close, we have uh, the verb to be, right? And then we have a, a, an infinity, right? Then in the other uh, close, you have if, right? Using if. Uh, the subject here is you, and the verb is want. But you notice that in the other sentence, again, you use the verb to be, right? Like other verb. And this could be a different person. For example, you say, if a person, if a person wants to bring someone, uh, he is expected. So, so, you know, you're using a different subject, right? In, in every clause, right? And here, after this uh, clause, we have a comma, a comma. Can you see the comma, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, uh, you can change the position, right? For example, I can say, uh, when you visit someone, it's the custom to bring a small gift. Or I can say, it's the custom to bring a small gift when you visit someone. And in this case, the comma disappear, right? Let's go to the other example, right? If you want to bring someone, if you, sorry, if you want to bring someone, uh, Yes, if you want to, to, to bring someone, you're expected to call first and ask. Or you can say you're expected to call first and ask if you want to bring someone, right? And then you make the, the if the comma sorry disappear, right? Okay. And here you can see the structure, the the close with when or if, right? Is at the beginning. Then you have the subject. Of the of the other clothes, the verb to be, and we have words like, uh, what is logical, right? What is acceptable in some situation, right? For example, what 
if, uh, if someone invites you to, to drink coffee, uh, the person is expected to give you semita, right? <laughs> or uh, when when someone uh, when when they give you chuko, right? It's it's the custom to to eat pan francés, right? <laughs> With the chuko, you know. Okay, so this is what is logic, right? So we have expression like the custom, supposed to, expected to, acceptable to, you know, because it's, it's normal, right? It's normal, right? For example, in El Salvador, it's, it's normal that people say, que hubo, que onda, que pasó, you know? Okay, so it's, it's expected, it's normal, right? Uh, we are not going to make expression like, uh, Tú cómo has estado? Oh, come on, this is not in El Salvador, right? So it's, it's not expected that, right? It's expected something different, right? So again, what is logical, what is acceptable, right? Then we have the infinitive, right? With the preposition to, because it's part of supposed to, expected to, and then we have the verb, right? The verb is an infinity. Look, in no brought or bringing. Right? No, it's infinity. Bring, arrive, call, check. Okay? And then all the words that are a complement, right? So this is the structure. This is the structure of the of the of the grammar for today. Do you have any question for the moment? Questions? No. Okay. We're going to go to the PowerPoint presentation, right? Uh, and we are going to to see right some examples uh, how to use uh, this structure right. Expectations. Good. Here we have again. The expectation when you visit someone is the custom to bring a small gift, right? The close, independent subject, independent verb. Then we have the other close, right? This is the when close, right? Then we have the other close with the subject and the verb to be. Then you have the other close with if, if you want to bring uh, others, you're expected to ask if it is okay for, right? This is the structure. Okay, now. Is, is the moment to work together. Here we have some uh, expectation, right? For example, uh, this is normally in the United States, in, in Canada too, right? But also in El Salvador, where some of these customs are, are the same, right? For example, let me see. If someone sends you a gift, what you're supposed to, expect you, or acceptable to do, uh, Rafael, what letter would you match here with number one if someone give, sends you a gift? A, B, C, D, E, or F? Rafael? Let me read. E. E. Letter E. Letter E. Congratulations. Excellent. Also, right? Would you like to read the sentence, Rafael, the full sentence, please? Okay. If someone sends you a gift, you're expected to thank the person. And after a gift, comma, right? Now, Rafael, do me a favor, please. Would you like to change the position of the closest, please? Okay. Mm, I you're don't know. You're expected? You're expected? Uh-huh. Only change. You're expected to You're change? expected to send the person if someone send you a gift. That's it, right? That's it. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. You can change. But in this case, no comma. Uh -huh. Okay. 
No, no, no coma. <laughs> no, <I> mean, <laughs> okay, we don't use the coma, right? With double M, right? Coma. <laughs> right. Okay, good. So, uh, Irving, please. Number two. Right. Uh, letter A. Letter A. If you plan to visit someone at home, okay, you're supposed to, to call first, if right? If, if you plan to visit someone at home, you're supposed to call first. Good. If you're going to give a, a chute <laughs> with you, right? I go wrong with you. Uh, oh, no, you are the go wrong in this case, right? <laughs> okay. So you're, you're supposed to call first, not, not only, hey, ya vine. Okay, no, come on, please don't do that, right? Now, Irving, would you like to change the, the, the two clauses, please? You're supposed to call first if someone sends you a gift. No, 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 if you plan. Ah, if you plan, uh, let's see, you're supposed to call first if you plan to visit someone at home. Excellent, so Irving, thank you, thank you very much. Mauricio, please, number three. Um, okay. When you go out with friends for dinner, um, it's Cheshire, thank you, sir. Respect Imagine. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. When you go out with friends for a for a dinner, it, it is acceptable to share the expenses. Congratulations, right? So don't be <laughs> you have to yeah. to share the, the expenses, right? Uh now Mauricio, would you like to change the position of the clauses, please? Okay. It is accept. It is acceptable. 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 acceptable accept, acceptable. It is acceptable to share the expensive when you go out with your friends. Very good. Number four, for please. Mm -hmm. uh, Sophia, help me, please. If the service in a restaurant is acceptable, mm -hmm. like uh, 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 the, acceptable, acceptable. Is a acceptable. It's the custom to leave a tip. A tip, right? But not like in El Salvador, right? That you give a quota <laughs> when you go to, to <laughs> la pupuseria. <laughs> okay, oh, at least one dollar, two dollar, right? Sometimes it's it's as acceptable, you know. Okay, Sophia, would you like to change the order of the clauses, please? No, it's usually in, in the United States, they they can charge uh, 15 or maybe as that 20%. 20%, you're totally 20 right. 20% yes. for tips. In the United States, is, that is the, the custom, you're right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, Sophia, please change the, the, the order of the clauses. Uh, it's acceptable. No, no. Oh, oh yes no. no no it is the custom ah uh, is the custom to leave a tip if the service in a restaurant is is acceptable acceptable very good thank you sofia thank you very good right so thank yolanda you. when you meet someone for the first time you aren't, aren't supposed to kiss him or her. Okie dokie, nice. Very you good. Are, so, mm -hmm. huh? You are oh, supposed yeah. to kiss him or her when you meet someone for the first time. The second time is okay, Yolanda, no problem. Yes. But now in our cases, no more, right? Because we are married. <laughs> Right, but when we were in the in the high school in the university, I remember. Okay, I don't want to tell this experience in front of my wife, but you know. <laughs> but, but what, you, what kind of kiss you give? Imagine you in a girl. If you <laughs> when I when you have girlfriends or, or boyfriends in the case of the women in the university, I mean you only kiss, right? Only, <laughs> but not but for this, the first time. time. 
not for the first time. Maybe the second or the third time, eh? Yeah, but what what was your experience? Uh, my experience is well, like the fifth time in the university. <laughs> but, but it was a different person, right, in the university, right? But shh, don't say anything because, you know, wives listen through the walls. <laughs> But teacher, this uh, uh, this case, if you if you don't have any relation with uh -huh, the other person, yes, of course, Yolanda, of course, teacher, yes, of course. I'm talking about when I was free, <laughs> when I was free in the university, right? No, but I'm I am happy. Don't worry, I'm happy. Okay, number five, please. Uh, no, no, number six. Uh, Francisco, please help me, Francisco. When you receive an invitation, mm -hmm. you are expected to thank the person. Oh, that is for number one, right? If someone sends you a gift, you're expected to thank the person, right? But when you receive an invitation? Uh, you're supposed to call first. Mm, no. Now, imagine I say, Francisco, let's go to a party, a birthday party. Do you respond uh, today or tomorrow, Francisco? Uh, uh, today. Today, right? Quickly, yeah. huh? Okay, so what is the answer? When you receive an invitation? Uh, you are expected to respond to it quickly. Very good. Thank you very much. And for uh, Noemi. Noemi, do me a favor. Can you, uh, oh, excuse me. This is for Francisco, right? <laughs> now, Noemi, please, would you like to ch interchange the position of the closest, please? Teacher, I have a problem with my internet connection and so I don't. Sorry, I can hear you, Noemi. Again? I have a problem with my internet connection. Ah, I know, I understand, I, I heard you, yes. Okay, but, but you can watch, right? You can watch the presentation, yes? It's common, yes. Okay, good, but good. Minutes ago, no. Okay, good, no problem, I mean, only watch, so only watch. Okay. Later, if you want to participate, I will ask you if it is possible. Okay, okay. okay. good, now. So then this is when you receive an, invi when you receive an in invitation, you uh, you're expected to respond to it quickly, right? Or you're expected to respond to it quickly? Uh, or you're expected to respond to an invitation quickly, sorry, when you receive it, when you receive it, right? That, that would be the, the change and no comma, right? Okay. So that is the, the example. Sorry, excuse me. Okay. Now we're going to complete these sentences, right? Uh, with the closest in the box. It's not acceptable to show up Without calling first, show up is like presentarse, mostrarse, right? Is the custom for them to sit across from each other? You're expected to reply, you know, to respond within a few days. You're supposed to bring a gift and you're supposed to ch ch check his or her hand, right? So let's go to number one. When you meet someone for the first time, comma, you're supposed to check yes. his or her hand, yes, right? Number two, volunteers, please. Number two, volunteers. Um, the answer is in the box. Uh, Who? When you mean? first. Uh, I'm going to try, but. OK, come on, go. But when a friend sends you an email, yours to reply within a few days? My goodness, perfect, Mami. Congratulations, yes. Now, number three. Number three, please, volunteers. If you want to visit someone, uh -huh. uh, you're supposed to bring a gift. You're supposed to bring a gift. Nice, Yolanda. Very good. Number four. Volunteer for number four. If you invite a married couple to dinner, 
is the custom for them to see the cross from each other. Good, Irving. Good pronunciation, Irving. Congratulations. Nice. Okay. And number five. Another volunteer for number five, please. Volunteers. Green teacher. Okay, Sofia, come on. When you go to a birthday party, you're supposed to bring a gift. Good. Even if you go to Dollar City, but please bring a gift. Dollar City. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sometimes. <$3. laughs> I have I have had some experiences that you you keep the the price of the of the Dollar City, right? <laughs> okay, good. So uh, I don't know if you have any question, class, about the use of of expectations using when and if clauses. What does mean show up? Uh, mostrarse. For example, look at the teacher, look at the teacher, Rafael. Now I'm here, right? I show okay. up, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Another experience. Sorry. Look, Doodly is going to show up. Hi. Okay. Thank show you. Up. Show up, right? Okay, good. Any other question? Sure. No, okay. So let's go and uh, we're going to go to the platform again. And we are going to, we are going to uh, develop the exercise, right? We're going to develop the exercise. Let me see commentaries. Oh, no commentaries. Well. Okay, uh, I suppose you cannot access to the platform anymore, right? So we're going to do it together. Yes, no problem. So, costumes in the United States and Canada, right? Let's do it together. Uh, you can use this template as a guide to the simple editor. Model. Mm. I don't understand. Well, anyway, uh, let's go to the exercise, right? I don't understand this very well. If you're planning to visit someone at home, to the simple editor manual. you're expected to leave a tip. You're supposed to call first. You aren't supposed to kiss him or her. You're expected to respond in, respond in writing, sorry. Is the custom to call and thank him or her? It's acceptable to share the expenses, right? So what, what would be the correct option? Volunteers, please. Don't George, worry. No, I mean. You're supposed to supposed call first. first. Okay, good. Now, let's go to the next one. Thank you, Noemi. If you've been to a friend's home for dinner, what you're supposed or expected, right? Leave a tip, call first, kiss him, respond in writing. Volunteer, please. Yeah. If you're being to a friend's home for dinner. I am not sure about that, teacher, because if I invite uh, my friend, I don't as a way to it, my friends it shared ah. the expenses. No, no, no. It's uh -huh. the cost look at this. Hey, Yolanda. Or her. Uh, if well, you've been to give me a second, Evie. Uh huh. Uh huh. But, but here it doesn't say invitation. Look, you're going, you're going to be a chute. <laughs> mm. No invitation, right? Really? So, what is your opinion? And, and then we're going to listen to Irving too, right? But Yolanda, what is your opinion? No, I, in this case, I think it's acceptable to share the expenses. Mm, okay. Irving, what for me, is the custom to call and thank him or her because if, if it's a several short expenses, it is an invitation to go to a restaurant. When you go to a restaurant, right? But, but Yolanda, remember, he is home, right? Uh huh. So, so, do you agree with Irving? Yes. Yes. Okay. We're going to leave this, right? And then number three, 
when you have invited to a wedding, dan, 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 ya seamolo, ya seamolo. Okay, so you're inviting, what is the, the correct option, right? You're expected to leave a tip? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, so go first, kiss him, respond in writing, thank him or her, or share the expenses. Volunteers, please. A wedding is a very formal invitation, right? I think you are expected to respond in writing, no? Okay, we're going to make it like this, right? Thank you. When you are out on a date, oh, romantic moments, planet de renderos, oh. So what is the expectation? What is the supposition here? Volunteers, please. Rafa, Mauricio. Sofia, you aren't supposed Francisco. to kiss him ah, yes, or her. You aren't, to, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. Okay, good, good. That was you on your first date, Rafael, when you, Huh? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, come on, Rafael. You did it for the first time. Eh? <laughs> okay, good, good. Now, if the service in a restaurant is good, another volunteer, please. If the service in a restaurant is good, you're expected to leave a tip. tip. Okay, I, I heard two, two. Irving and who else? Francisco, no. You are expected to leave a, a tip. A Mauricio, you're expected to leave. So I, I guess you agree, Mauricio, with, with Irvin, right? Okay, you're expected to leave a tip. Good. And finally, when you meet someone for the first time, volunteers, please. You aren't supposed to kiss him or her. Okay. Ah, and then. Okay. Okay. I don't know. We're week. going to see. Now, submit, right? Ta -da. My uh -huh. goodness. <laughs> In your first listen, day. <laughs> listen, this is, this is Rafa's, you know, I don't know. Rafa is thinking. When, when, <laughs> when, when Rafa was in high school, he has some experiences. No? <laughs> okay, good. But we're going to see the other option, right? What? But this I, I i don't understand because is the person is invite you 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 don't need to pay the bill with them with the or with him i don't maybe know maybe uh, uh yolanda <laughs> maybe it's in united states ah well because uh -huh. here is not no the the, the no, cost. in el salvador the custom is that the woman pays right yes this ah, is the yes problem. come on yes <laughs> no yolanda the men pay in el salvador i pay <laughs> I pay. <laughs> okay, In good. So, <laughs> now let's check it out. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, right? Good. Now to finish, what time is it? Oh, 8.46. So we're going to finish the class with sharing opinions, talking. I'm going to let you speak today, right? The teacher is going to be quiet. So I have some, some ideas I will share with you here uh, with the PowerPoint presentation. Uh, here. Okay. Okay. Here we have some costume, right? Let me see. Uh, Noemi, would you like to read what is the costume in Brazil, Noemi? Read, okay. please. Friends kiss each other three or four times on the cheeks as a greeting. As a hello. Okay, very good. Thank you, right? Like this, right? In Brazil, right? Muito obrigado, você, tu convidora do jogo bonito do Brasil. Falei português, right? Okay, Brazil. Now, Denmark. Uh, Francisco, what is the costume in Denmark? Uh, for generally arrive on time for most occasions. Excellent, very good. Exactly like in El Salvador, right? Okay, very good. Egypt, Egypt, please. Uh, uh, Yolanda, would you like to read Egypt? Egypt, people allow their hosts 
to trade, to trade. To treat them. them. To, to invite them. them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, to treat them to meals in restaurants. Uh -huh. When you treat someone, you pay the bill in the restaurant, right? So it, it's like I say, uh, uh, Rafael, Irving, Yolanda, let's go to a restaurant. And you are the host, right? And then you pay the, the meal, imagine. <laughs> okay, good. So friends, uh, Sofia, please. Therapy is usually included in the price of a meal in restaurants. Good, like in El Salvador, most of the time, right? You, when you go to El Sopon, <laughs> Sopon de la Sacamil, right? Or when you go to Chapultepec. <laughs> so yeah, they, the price is in, uh, in the price, they include the tip in El Salvador, it's the same, right? Okay. Chapultepec. Ah, in the beer station. <laughs> yes, I, sorry, Yolanda, ah. I don't know the place. I don't know, sorry. Can you said <laughs> Chapultepec. No, I have seen some people, no, not me. Eh? <laughs> I saw Mauricio there. Ah, no, no, come on, Mauricio, no. <laughs> okay, good. No. No, right, Mauricio, no. <laughs> okay, uh, good. Now, too let's expensive. Go to, too expensive no, for me. Yes, expensive. <laughs> Now, Japan, please. Uh, who's going to uh, Mauricio? Read from Mauricio, Japan. People bow when they see or meet or meet someone they know. Very good, like like this, right? What what is bow? L Can you see me? Ah, okay, okay. People bow, bow right? Bow. This year, met someone. Yes, so this is the custom in most countries in Asia, right? They bow. Uh, Korea. Singapore, uh, China, Japan, right? Okay, New Zealand, New Zealand. Um, Irving, please. All right, people usually pay for their own meals in restaurants. Spain, please. Thank you, Irving. Rafa? People usually arrive late for most appointments. Good. Irresponsible people from Spain, right? They must learn for Salvadorian people that we are exact right. on time. Yeah, come on. <laughs> okay, United States, please. Noemi, again, please. Noemi, United States. People leave a tip of 15, 20% in restaurants. Thank you, Noemi. Uh, Mauricio was saying that, right? That you pay 15 to 20% of uh, in restaurants. In El Salvador, no, of course, right? It's different. Good class. Any commentary about these costumes around the world? Commentaries, experiences, questions. No, it's expensive. Well, for example, when you go to uh, to go out uh, to take a dinner or lunch, maybe with your family, right, Mauricio? For, see, yeah, for example, in the United States, if you have to pay twenty percent, you it's a it's a it's a very expensive tip. Yeah, for example, yeah. for example, it's a maybe. Well, it's a hundred. For example, it is the cost of the dinner. It's cost a um, hundred dollar. It's twenty dollars only for one hundred twenty, right? One hundred twenty. So you say, hey, but I, in this case, you pay the good service, Mauricio. Uh, well, yes, yeah, but. You you pay the service. It's a bet. You said well, it's a very, but it's expensive. It's yeah, expensive. It's expensive. That that's a lot of a lot of people work like waiters, like ah, uh, that's because they earn a lot of money. I I hear that the waitress don't have salary. Uh huh. I heard I heard that too. That is in El Salvador, right? It's very common. Yes. Here, they sell in some restaurants in, no. in, in, the, on, in the beach, mm -hmm. Puerto La Libertad, for example, those restaurants, most wait, waiters and, wait, and waitresses don't have salary. They oh, only really? for the tips, right? Uh -huh. But it's, it's not cool, come on. Okay, now, continue with the talking, right? Now, uh, we have here what happened in El Salvador, right? Let's talk about El Salvador, right? Not all the country, but El Salvador. 
Let's complete the sentence, right? And I'm going to make something. I will have Rafael and Irving, Mauricio uh, with number one, right? Uh, Mauricio and Sofia with number two. Yolanda, number three. Uh, Yolanda, Francisco, and Noemi, number three, right? Okay, let's do it together, right? Rafa and Irving. Let's discuss number one. In El Salvador, remember, right? Only you discuss, number one. All right. Um... In El Salvador, uh -huh. in El Salvador. Well, uh, if people invite you to their home, in summer, it's very common to sometimes to call first uh, because um, it may occur. Um, you know, sometimes people have other plans. So you have to call first to confirm if they are going to be at home. And it's supposed maybe to, right? you bring it's, yeah, it's supposed, supposed to. to and sometimes you bring um, drinks or, or things like that, some stuff like that, to have, a, to have lunch, to have breakfast. And, the, and it's necessary to confirm many times because the people uh, is, is, are, irre are irresponsible. Oh, that's true. You have to confirm at least mm -hmm. three times. Yes. And I guess this and is the, because you give the, time to put more water in the soup, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But and, it's supposed and normally, to... Okay, Mauricio and... and sorry, uh, uh, Yolanda? No, it's supposed the people invite you. I, I don't understand. Uh -huh. If I invite my, a friend at, my, in my, at home, uh, I think I invite you, I am here. Oh, okay. I, I don't understand, no? But yes, but sometimes people, mm -hmm. sometimes people are irresponsible. They invite you, but sometimes they're not at home. <laughs> it's true. So that's why you have to confirm first. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and okay. many people don't bring uh, anything. Normal is to bring a bottle of wine or what else. Yeah. In El Salvador, you say, eh, compré esta bolsa de francés, aquí ya vengo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mauricio and, and Sofia, please discuss number two, please. Uh, when you go out on a date, is the Salvador, cost... remember. El Salvador, yeah. remember. Uh -huh. Is the costume to bring a small gift for me? <laughs> But the, the woman or the men, Sofia? Um, because it's a date, it's a romant kid. romantic, romantic meaning, right? Ah, uh, it's not a romantic day. It's a romantic, yes. It's it is a day. Uh huh. Ah, uh, and flowers. Okay. The man give me flowers. Oh, excellent. If one something. If he wants something. He wants something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very good. <laughs> okay, Mauricio. Respond to Sophia, Mauricio. Uh, no, it's, it is, uh, uh, it is, well, it is, uh, if I go, if I go and uh, out on a date, it's a, uh, at the first and the first in the first date or the, I don't I only I, I want to know what happened I want to know what is the what is the it is a good uh, it is a good for uh, I don't know how do you say that that but it's it if it is a good if, if we have a good uh, maybe a feeling or conversation or mm -hmm or someone else to continue to to in the next step no or 
or the next day in the in, a, in the next uh, date. In the in next the, day, maybe I will give a flowers or some a chocolate or something like that. No, but in the first, no, I don't spend. <laughs> No, no, no expenses, no kisses. <laughs> no, no, no. In the first I, I was, I was, I was checking about that. What, what happened? <laughs> okay, good. Well, anyway, right? It, it depends on the person. You're extremely romantic, right? Maybe in the first, but if I you have a have comment, to... teacher. Sorry, Yolanda. I have a comment. Yes, tell me. We need, Go ahead. We need to know the opinion uh, of the of his wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but of course Maurice is talking about uh, about his wife, of course. Uh, he he she's asleep, she is sleeping right now. <laughs> okay. okay. So when she wakes up, right, Maurice will give her flowers, eh? Please. <laughs> okay. No, no, it was the, the when no parents when I once I am I am pro, I I am projecting about how is the dating right now? No, in my time, but in my time, no, you have to, it was a very difficult first to go out with a date or you have to visit in the, her, her house and have a, the, asking the permission, a, her mother the permission, permission the parents, and all that things. Huh? But right now the date is by internet. Uh -huh. In WhatsApp, and, right? <laughs> if, or WhatsApp or in the internet, you see, I know because my, well, it, my bro, my brother is very cyber, cyber active in that activities, but in, and he's a and a, and you know it's incredible. Uh, all the people they know each other right in by internet. Uh, it is very common right now for the oh, John. Right. For the John, it's it's common. It's uh, and they are not uh, waiting a lot. Uh, uh, like us, <laughs> no, they yeah. are directly the, the directly the, yes the, the point. <laughs> no, I remember I used to send papers, but now it disappeared. Right? <laughs> okay, good. Let's go to the last one because it's almost time to finish. Uh, Yolanda, Noemi, and Francisco. Okay. Number three, please. Okay, I think if a friend is in the hospital. Uh, you are supposed to call his family to know about his health. Okay. Noemi and Francisco? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, tell me, Francisco. How do you say uh, costumbre? Costume, costume. costume. Is the costume. Costume. Yes. Okay. Um, in El Salvador, is, is a costume to go to to go visit uh, and bring and bring him or her a gift um, uh -huh. and pray for him or her. Hey, you're right. Mm -hmm. In my so, opinion, it's the custom to visit, right? You don't need to say to go visit, only to visit. Uh huh. Totally right, Francisco. Yeah. Teacher, yeah. but in this case, uh, according to the rules, uh, in the hospital. Now you, ah, know, yes. you don't you don't go to the hospital to for the visit. coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Yes, these days no, but Pro it's a prohibit. Prohibit. Mm -hmm. I don't prohibit. It's una prohibición. Yes, it's, it's prohibited prohibit. for the yeah. moment. For the moment, but the in the past, like Francisco said, it was the custom, right, to give some fruit, some yogurts, flowers, flowers. Yes, yes, very good. No, me. Is Noemi still in the group? Yes, Noemi? No, okay. Good class, so that's it, right? That, uh, I had some other topics here to, to discuss and some other exercises, but uh, unluckily it's time to, to finish, right? So uh, again, I want to thank you all to participate in the, in the, in the class, right? To participate in the platform. Uh, remember, it's not the same to be in a virtual class, like a, in a class in person, right? But it depends on you, the interest you have, right, to, to attend the classes is really, really important, right? And remember the, 
the way you have success, right, is to be disciplined, right? And if you have an objective in the life, right, do it, right? English is really important to travel for business, uh, to get a good job, uh, to know new people. Remember, it's the universal language. If you go to Russia, if you go to Paris, if you go to Brazil, if you go to any country, you will find that English is good to, to communicate with, with people and can save you for mm -hmm. um, an emergency. Um, for example, last time uh, we were talking about uh, Irving's experience, right? Of or Fernando's experience, I remember, uh -huh. uh, in, in Paris. And I remember I got lost in Paris in the metro. I got lost. And we, I found a, a, a woman from the United States and, and she helped us. Right, and we were speaking English, right? Because the, there's no other way to communicate, you know? So and shh, we got on time to the airport, you know? It, it was a very uh, nightmare experience in, in, in Paris, right? But English is, as I say, very good to uh, imagine me. I am a teacher, I'm, 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 I'm getting money because I know how to speak English, right? So, for you, class, uh, congratulations, you know, to stay here in the class and, and, and continue, please. My, my recommendation is continue with the classes in the next level, right? Any commentary to say goodbye? It's good to see you again, my colleagues. Ah, okay. Please <laughs> and continue. You, teacher. Continue, Yolanda. Continue studying, please. Yes, yes, yeah, of please. course. Okay, good. Thank you. So, you know, it's a, it's a very interesting that you say that because, uh, well, I'm, I'm interested in, in to practice and to uh, talk in English with all of uh, our friends. And uh, because I like to, uh, to keep my mind and think in another language because uh, uh, I heard that it's a very important to do that because the you can to keep very far away at the el alemán, mm -hmm. at the Alzheimer. So it's a yes. that it's a that it's a very interesting. It's a good very, exercise that, for me. It's that that is a very important that no and uh, and to and to keep an and 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 to keep the relation with the partners and with the friends. Here it's a very it's very nice. Very uh -huh. good, yes. You open yeah. your mind, Maurice, and, and, and you see the life in a different way, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I, I'm not interested in a, in, a, in a good job or something like that. No, that is a very far away. Though no? uh, right now it's a, I have another interest in there. Right? Oh, when you travel, nice. Mauricio, when you travel, yeah. English, well, yeah, a it's a it is a it is a very it is interesting. No, you know, it's yeah. a. It, it, the only way that you can to speak or to relation with the other is in English. Totally when you right. Go to right. another country. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Good. So, class, again, thank you very much. Have a good night. And thank you. Uh, uh, the last suggestion, the last, uh, uh, I'm going to advise you, right? That uh, I see in the WhatsApp group, uh, you are very passive, you know? You can send material in English, you can speak. You can send audios to practice your English there, right? Um, to practice with your friends. It's a good way, eh? What's okay. up, you know? So that's my okay. recommendation for the next level, right? So have a good okay. night. God bless Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Bye. It's a pleasure. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.